Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial of a Drive here, and today I'm playing Gears of War 5. Actually, what I'm going to be doing today is just showing you guys how to fix a few things with Gears of War 5 that are related to the game crashing. So I was playing the, basically, Act 1, Chapter 1. I got slightly through it. I was recording maybe like 20 minutes in, and the game crashed. I looked into why that happened, and it turns out if you've got a Radon graphics card, what I've got is a Radon RX 580, you need to make sure that you've got the latest drivers. Those drivers were, I believe, recently released, so a lot of you guys probably aren't going to have that. What you want to do is you want to go online, Google just Radon, whatever your graphics card is, drivers, look those up, download it. It's going to be pretty easy, pretty straightforward to install, but once you get that installed, that's going to prevent the game from crashing. After I installed the drivers, I played Horde for a little bit, like 20, 30 minutes. No problems whatsoever. Didn't have any crashing. There was nothing like that, and before I was having these crashing issues. So, if you guys are having issues with the game crashing and you're not running anything in the background, if you're running a ton of stuff in the background, try closing that first. But if you're not running anything in the background, if you've got enough RAM, so if you've got like 8 gigs of RAM or more, you're probably good there. And you don't have anything like slow internet or you're not running something that's making you cheat or anything like that. The issue is probably with your graphics card drivers. I'm not sure if this is an issue that's only contained to sort of the Xbox Game Pass thing. I'm running Game Pass on my laptop. Or if this is something that you're going to be seeing if you get this game off Steam. But I figured I'd make this video because honestly, like, I wanted to release a video just going over the campaign and doing that playthrough. But I think this is going to be way more helpful. And a lot of you guys who are probably just getting the game, you need to do this. Because honestly, it's such a bummer when you get a game and it doesn't run. Um, you should be keeping up to date with your drivers anyways, but I wasn't doing it, so there's probably a bunch of people out there that are going to have the same issue, and hopefully I can help them out. Anyways, guys, that's it. I'm not making this a long video. I just want to help out the people who need that help and get on with the game. So if you have any questions, if this didn't work for you, if you've got another fix that I missed, comment down below in the comment section because that's going to help a ton of people out. If you guys drop a good comment, I'm going to pin it, like if it's, you know, how to fix this bug or that bug I'll, I'll pin it i do my best to reply respond to every comment so um there's that anyways thanks for watching guys i'm gonna get back into the campaign and hopefully that video is gonna be coming out soon too if you're interested whatsoever in that type of thing until next time peace